Hi you guys. What you see before you are some the well are the supplies that we are going to need for our quilt block. So you're going to need a rotary cutter to cut your yardage. You're going to need a ruler um, so you can cut your five inch squares. And today I am using um, Springbrook by Cory Order of uh, the Coriander Quilts and I thought this looked so springy and so pretty. So these are five inch squares. They are called charm packs and I love them. <laughs> um, they are just, yeah, you don't have to cut them. They all coordinate. I adore them. So that is what I'm going to use today. And of course you need your sewing machine, your needles and all that kind of thing if you need to pin. Um, but this is the supplies, your main supplies, what you're going to need. So you want to select, let me show you guys the block. I know you saw in the opening, so I'm going to show you the block. Let's move all this out the way. And here it is right here, you guys. So this is the block that I've chosen. And I got it out of this book right here, Block A Day. Um, I really like this book. So the block that I've chosen, it is called the autograph book. I mean block, I'm sorry. And so when I decided to uh, select this block for this month, um, I just looked at it and I just thought, what a perfect block. Like I've never heard of this block before, the autograph block. And I had read about this, right? You know, it has a description of what it was used back in the day. And it was so interesting, you guys, is because they used to embroider their name across um, in a pen or some kind of, um, um, I'm sorry, they used to write their name and then they would take it and embroider it. And then they would put it inside their blocks. And I thought, I was like, to in today's situation, we have tags and we have um, things that we use to mark our quilts. And so back in the day, this is one of the things that they did. And I thought it was just so interesting, you guys, just because if you was to take this one block and make a whole quilt out of it, you can totally do this for a wedding, have everyone sign their name or some kind of a beautiful note to the um, couple and have it embroidered and make a whole quilt out of it and I just thought that was just so special and so um, I did want to just tell you guys that is you can do so much with this um, but we're making a table runner out of it and so <laughs> And so I just wanted to tell you guys that so I'm going to take you guys to my dining room table because um, my craft room has been renovated so um, I have everything laid out there uh, my process of what I do when I am working on this how I broke it down I am always trying to find an easy method for everything I do and all right you guys welcome to my living room table and so as you guys can see right here I have laid out everything and what you see the folds right here are my half square triangles um, I usually just you know just for audition purpose purposes I'll do it that way and so I have it all laid out I picked the colors I wanted I picked one consecutive color right here just so you can really see the cross so I have these right here and then I just try it to from each charm pack you know from the charm pack just try to take a little bit of each color and sprinkle it because it's springtime right <laughs> so um so this is my method of doing it and when i broke the block down it is five going down and five going across and so when i sew this i'm just going to sew row by row that's how i'm going to do it and then i'll um, once each row is done and then I'll just you know go ahead and sew it that way and it'll be so easy and so fast 
Uh, so this block is supposed to be 12 by 12. Um, so <laughs> um, if it's bigger, it's, that is better. Um, but um, 12 by 12 is the size. And I'm going to make two. Um, I believe probably 24 inches, uh, two 12 inch blocks. That should be fine. So I'm going to go and sew it, you guys. And I'll be right back. All right, you guys. Look at here. I did my half square triangles. And um, that was it. It's only six half square triangles. And then I can start putting my rolls together. And when I come back, you guys, I'm going to, it's all going to be sewn together. Okay. I did want to tell you guys everything. I'm going to put, I guess, the diagram of the block on the blog. So I have all that down for you in the description box. So you'll be able to make one for yourself as well. And um, that's it. So I'm going to get to sewing and I'll be back after I sew it. Okay. All right, you guys, I wanted to come and give you a little tip. When you are, when it's time for you to join your rows, you want to go right, left. You want to press them to the right and then press the second one to the left and so on and so on. But at, when you do that, remember, you want to flip it up. You don't want to take it around and then do it because it would be the wrong way. So just remember, flip it up, press right, left, right, left, so they can interlock. And you'll be good. Guys, I am all done. And so the, uh, the block came out to 22 by 22. And it is so pretty, you guys. So now I'm going to go ahead and make another one. And I'm going to put right sides facing. And then I am going to select the back, get a binding, and put it, you know, bind the whole, whole thing. And I'll be back to show you guys the finished product. All right, you guys, I am all back. And she came out so nice. As you can see for the binding, I used a gingham print, a spring. This is B, um, this is Lori Holt. Uh, what is it? Um, B something. I'll have it all in the description box for you guys. Oh, B gingham, that's what it's called. And um, it came out so nice and it matches so well with everything. And as you can see, the square. And so, you know, I have two of these squares. Let me see if I can open it up. So the, in the camera, I think it's, there we go. It's a little too big, but um, you guys, you guys saw both of them because they're, they're the same. <laughs> okay, and so let me show you the back. And there's the back, you guys. All I did here is I used the remaining squares that I had and I tagged it. I'm trying to be real good and tagging my things now. Um, so I, um, this is a monthly subscription. If you guys want to know about that, just go ahead and let me know about it. Um, let me know and I'll uh, tell you guys uh, more about that. It's Sweetwater, Sweetwater um, monthly subscription. Um, with that and it just came out so nice you guys and this is so easy and so simple taking five inch squares and just making a table runner out of it and even this square that's here that's all I did you guys I just used five inch squares and if you want to make yours smaller you could um, what I've done I is a free PDF on the blog um, as you saw in the book um, that was there so I just created that and I made it a, um, a PDF for you guys so you can download it yourself and you can make one in any color <laughs> any size that you want so um, that is it you guys